Hey guys, welcome back. Episode 15 of the uh, Search 2. So quickly before we go into Cloud9, I haven't been in here yet. Um, I was going over the footage of my last video and I discovered that I'd made a bit of a mistake with the uh, gear I picked up. So if I go into my inventory, I thought that I picked up all the Scarab gear, which eventually I did, but what I'd accidentally done is I'd misinterpreted one of the drops and I picked up uh, a leg piece for the Rhino gear and I didn't spot that in the last video. Now look at the set bonus. Uh, the partial increases damage and impact of charged attacks, but the full set bonus um, actually gives you like a shock wave. So if you've got a heavy weapon and you hit the ground, it does a shock wave to the enemy, which means you can hit them at distance. I'm going to put a card up in the top corner a little link that you can access because what I did is I went back and farmed out the set uh, and I tested it out and it, you can see a little demo of that but this is what it looks like check that baby out it looks amazing um, and it means that when I when I when I'm wearing that I, and I do a heavy hit it actually yeah it's crazy it does a shockwave you can really hit people at distance so anyway the, the, there'll be a link to the video um, up in the top corner. In the meantime, I'm going to uh, investigate Cloud Nine. Let's have a look. What the hell is going so on with these guys? Oh, Jess, you're disgusting. You talk to any of these people? Yep. Yeah. Oh fucking hell! You following me around? I told you already. The monster belongs to me. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Taking care of business. What's it look like? Me and my guys are just about to kill the beast swiftly and mercilessly. So don't even try to mess with us. All hell's breaking loose at Gideon's Rock. But don't cut me out yet. This battle's far from over. Yeah, let's just leave her. I'd, I'd... I'll be keeping an eye on you. There's an option to team up there, but I, I, you know what? I don't fancy it. <laughs> Uh, she's giving me the attitude from start to finish, so I really don't fancy it. Let's talk to this guy. Hey, you there, the blurry one. I'm so smashed, I can't keep my mouth shut. I just keep blabbing on and on and on and on. It's like a catch-20 something. Oh, Jesus. Everything's going to hell. <laughs> I can't switch my brain off no matter how hammered I get. I'm not even sure. Nothing makes sense. Okay, my company got this contract with AID a couple days ago. Earned myself some big bucks. And all I had to do was find a bunch of sick kids and get them sent to AID command to have their defrag cured. It's just that, you know, I never heard back from any of them. And I just want to spend my cash and turn off my brain. <laughs> and I gotta stop thinking about those things. That's awesome. You're doing me a real solid. There's that old R&D facility right next to the evacuation camp. You just follow the smell of desperation and you'll find it. Yeah. See ya. <laughs> oh dear. A kid trafficker with a conscience. It's not good. This. I have an important message for Oh no, not again. Security failure. System cleanup initiated. Rebooting OS. Ah, good day to you. I'm Harold. You seem to have caught me with my firewalls down. How embarrassing. I am in charge of scouting capable warriors willing to hunt down a massive creature at the Artificial Wildlife Resort. Gideon's Rock. Please excuse the system malfunction. My network has been hacked. A mere human wouldn't come and... My master, Joan Gutenberg, has out of his mind with worry about Jericho City's night problem. He's been working 24-7 to find a way out. Whoever delivers the brain of the strange creature wreaking havoc at Gideon's Rock will be rewarded amply. I have already hired Miss Black and her jolly band of mercenaries over there. However, they have been ineffective so far, apart from stabbing each other in the back. Hmm. 
Be warned, friend. If you don't succeed in your mission, the Nanites will be unstoppable in no time. Even I won't be able to fight back much longer. Luckily, my existence is of no importance. I'm just a soulless automaton, after all. Slay the fiend, and deliver its brain to the Creo Institute of Technology. That's all I ask, friend. Okay, uh, tell me about your hacking troubles. I am a cloud-based silicon valet, operated at the Creo Institute of Technology. I can download into different robotic host bodies. An external force is currently trying to compromise my system integrity. I don't know how much longer I will be able to fight back. Okay, uh, I suppose we'll just say this one as well. I have visions of a girl called Athena. Athena? How peculiar. My master had a grandchild by that very same name. She went missing after a... Oh, wait. Access denied. Excuse me, friend. <laughs> I won't be able to divulge that information until my hack databases are repaired. Okay, we're done. Good luck so. out there, friend. Initiating recovery mode. There's the door to Gideon's Rock. Great. Uh, oh, yeah, medbay. Awesome. I really need that. Right, let me just have a quick look around here and see if there's anything else to see before we move on. Thank you very much. What's this? Not scrap. That's good. Hmm. Yo, what are you doing just walking into my inner sanctum? I don't even know if I can trust you. Tell me the password or get lost. Ooh, someone mentioned this to me. Uh, Keymaker. I got that from the, uh, the... the vendor machine, which took the audio logs. Well, what do you know? You passed the test. Looks like you've got good contacts. You might be just what the resistance needs. Our numbers are still low. There needs to be a groundswell. We have to send a signal. Tell people to mobilize. But we're not going to do it over the airwaves. Can't trust modern tech. Not anymore. In that case, welcome to the Resistance. I see you already have a graffiti drone. Sweet! That should make things easier. Now all you got to do is leave the new Resistance symbol all around Jericho. Uh, I'm assuming that gives me some, probably get some tech scrap for doing it, I guess. Okay. Party on. Leave Grithi's eggs throughout the districts of Jericho City. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, so what I was saying before about the, the other, the other piece of gear, the, um, the, the, the Rhino set. So, I, I hadn't, I haven't previously found, uh, a heavy armor set that I liked. You know, I, want, I want the heavy armor set basically so that I can um, fight bosses with a bit more resistance. The Rhino set seems like a very good option. There's also the Scarab set which I haven't built yet. <coughs> uh, I'll show you that very quickly. Uh, what was it? This one. Scarab set. So it reduces the duration of uh, received poison and nano. Uh, for the full set and increases defense while three or four three or more batteries are filled so that's not as good just yet while I've only got two batteries uh, three batteries sorry but that said it's a decent bonus that might be a decent boss set as well so I, I may build that at some point right med bay time <coughs> Not scrap. Let's bank everything we've got. Okay, we've got a shed load to spend. So, do I want to upgrade anything first off? So, I upgraded this um, code name Moonlight. It's a, it's actually a heavy duty weapon, which you know I said I wasn't that fond of previously, but the damage is is undeniable, and the energy gain on this one is actually really good. Um, 
so yeah I've, I've started using that I've also got a mod which gives me more energy gain per hit which which seems to be working out pretty well for this set um, so I can upgrade this the strangers face mask which I should do because that will fit with any set so I'll start by doing that can I upgrade this? No I can't right so my vulture gear this is my farming set uh, like my day to day set I should probably upgrade all of that really if I can and I'm thinking maybe the rhino gear as well but I'm in two minds about building the, the scarab set for the the nano resist and the you know the poison and etc etc so you know what let's yeah let's upgrade my vulture set yeah because we still need to farm Where's my headpiece? Oh, I could upgrade the chest to level 4. Okay, I've got the headpiece on. Stupid. Okay, perfect. So, let me just have a quick glance at that. Yep, cool. So, that's that. Do I want to upgrade the heavy set? And do I want to do the rhino or the scarab? I'm thinking the scarab might be better for boss fights in hindsight I do love the rhino gear though, it's great but it kinda means that I've got to use a heavy weapon and I tend to prefer to be faster for boss fights so humor me guys I I'm kinda thinking this through as I go let me construct I've got the liqu liquidator arm set as well uh, which I may build at some point right here we go Okay, so I've got the scarab body gear. Yeah, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Okay, we need two of those. Two of those. Okay, so let's go to upgrade. Sort this so I can see what I'm actually doing. So. Oh sugar. Okay, so I need to do some farming. That's unfortunate. Right, so the headpiece upgraded. Arms I can't do unless I'm willing to convert, which I don't like converting backwards, so I'm not gonna lie. So let's do the chest. So that's one leg, uh, a head and a chest. So let me quickly, can I put a set together? Okay, I'm going to switch this set out. Let's put the uh, scarab set on just so I've got it ready to rock and roll. When the time comes, scarab leg. I also want a quick way of, of looking at what I've got on. I actually didn't need to upgrade the head, did I? Because I've got Stranger Mask. Stupid. Okay. Ah, that's why. It's a Sentinel class. Bugger. Okay, so it's got better resist, but not as good damage resist let's just have a quick glance at that um, no bad example versus my rhino gear yeah so the rhino gear has got better stability the stamina cost is better the evade is better core power less and it's got the damage resist and the defense once I've got my battery level up okay so we're going to give that a try. Let's just compare this to this. So 
that's got better stability. It's got better damage for armoured. Core power's better, so you know what, I might put that on. Plus, which I think it looks better. I, I'm not going to lie, I, I am a little bit vain. Okay, so... Right, Vulture Gear's all upgraded. Weapons. Weapons. Right, so which one, what do I want to upgrade? So, I'm, I'm steering clear a little of Johnny's forceps for now. The poison's kind of doing my head in when I'm farming. Um, I've got my spear for the nano damage again, which is probably the same problem. I like the electric on this. I did say I was going to upgrade these, didn't I, because it's raw damage. Yep, so let's just go and upgrade those. Okay, nice. Yeah. Okay, so I haven't got any Mark V weapon bits yet. Okay, so we're all upgraded. Um, let's just make sure we've got the right things on favourite. Put that on favourite. Take that off. So now... If we did, 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 oh wait, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I've got a shitload of tech scrap. <laughs> Less tech scrap than I thought. If I put all that in there, it does not do what I wanted to do. Okay, let's get up to twenty. I feel like I'm doing okay on stamina. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to try and push the battery efficiency. I feel like that's what needs to happen next. Okay. So, peeps. Gideon's Rock, what are we thinking? Should we just have a, a little mooch around? Okay, here we go. Totally unknown territory. <laughs> Thumbs up. Isn't that sweet? I feel I'm going to get horribly lost here, so please bear with me. I'm also going to shit myself about 15 times on this. I can feel things jumping out on me already. Hang on, elemental intensifier, what's that? <coughs> Increases all elemental damage dealt to enemies by weapons and drone modules, but reduces physical damage. Okay, so that'll be good when I'm using like little Johnny's forceps, etc. Um, yeah, leave it for now because we, we're kind of using raw damage. Lift up missing, awesome. Okay, so brick wall, but we got a new implant, so that's good. Less to invest it in one direction. I'm assuming these guys are not going to be friendly. Is this a new gear set though? How hard does that guy hit? We can help each other. Meet us in the camp at the cliff. We're not with the other hunters. Where's he gone? Oh no! Ah! Okay, 
so these guys are pretty annoying. They disappear. Uh, Jaguar headgear. Jaguar body gear. Quick look. <coughs> uh, filling a battery awards one omni cell. Yeah, that's good for drone damage, I guess. Not really what I had in mind. But whatever. We'll cut it off people where we can. Oh, I feel frightened. Now that I know they're invisible, it's even worse. Shit! Uh, no, come back. Fucking Palan. Ah! Do a disappearing out from me, little kids. Okay, um, <coughs> you know, I think I'm going to. Oh, new weapon, hang on, first thing. One handed long fang. <laughs> Doesn't look very long to me. Um, let's compare it to my tomahawk that I picked up in the last episode. Less impact. Better attack speed, less energy gain. Yeah, no, yeah, don't think so. I think, you know what, I've got a feeling I'm going to try this because I like staggering people, and it's either that or I'm going to switch. Let's put that on favourite, or I'm going to switch to my double duty. In fact, you know what, how with it, double duty is because we can hit, we can do big two handers with that. Can we get up there? That wasn't really worth the effort, but whatever. Okay. Up ahead, you're almost there. I'm waiting. Huh. You've left a trail of destruction down there. Guess you enjoy making enemies. My guys, bullshit. Those jackasses betrayed us. It's every man for himself down there, cutting each other up like a bunch of spoiled pansies. We're the last hunters sane enough to catch that monster. Got the tech and the expertise. We just need some extra muscle. If you're willing to share the reward, we'll share the risk and guide you from our base. Perfect time to join this whole shit show, eh? Hmm, I don't think so. All the glory and half the tech scrap. We can cash in on a massive bounty if we deliver the creature's brain to some mystery man at CIT. But remember, you try and get one over on us, we'll finish you. Yeah, sounds like a bad deal. Does it now? You're welcome to browse for better deals if you feel like it. Just remember, this is the only game in town. Yeah, I don't think so. See what this got to say. Finally, I managed to reconfigure the three repeller towers scattered around Gideon's Rock. It took a lot of work and, and a bit of guerrilla tech, but it seems to be working now. More or less. Old man Gutenberg came through after all. His tech drives that freak up the wall. Now we just need to corner it. If we survive that long. Okay, uh, someone here to talk to. Hey, what's up? Either talk to the boss or get lost. I won't lift a finger till the big guy gives you the thumbs up. Okay, well you can piss off as well. Right, nice, med bay. Might as well bank our scrap. We didn't pick up much on that little journey, but it's nice to know there's a little safe harbour. Nothing much to do here but push on, I think. Is this the way we came in? It's not the way we came in. That's the other way. So, does this take us somewhere else? Or is it just a path around the same thing? Alert. You are 
Whoa, shit. Oh, he's at level 5. Nice. Holy shit, he is hard. And he re his reach is ridiculous as well. Hmm. Let me quickly change weapon. I'm going to try this. See if I can work out of a leaping attack. Or parry the fuck out of it. Yeah, I was hoping that would break his shield. on you bastard So I was actually so busy trying to fight him, I didn't steal any gear off him, which was stupid, but yeah, he's got a ridiculous reach and it's hard getting into him. Um, hard to kind of work that fight out on the fly. We will come back and get some more off. I'm, I'm hoping he responds. He was a level five, so I need, I could do with the gear. Aha! Thank you very much, mysterious gift giver. What's this? Lost seed. I don't know what that is. Um, can I see it in my inventory? Components, graffiti tags, consumables. Is it a journal entry, maybe? I'm sure we'll find out. As soon as I figure it out, I will let you guys know. Um, well. guys um, I'm glad that doesn't practice gay arm plate Gaia arm plate gay arm plate um, right when batteries fill game 10 on game one on this cell or 10 on this cells I don't know one on this cell yeah increases damage of continuously channel drones drone attack so there's more drone attack data which I'm not really a fan of guy Lancer ooh Ah, new spear, sweet. Um, it's raw damage. Energy gains 25. Let's just compare it to my other spear. So, wow, it's a lot more damage. It's the same mark level as well. Less impact. Uh, slightly better attack speed, less energy gain. Stamina consumption 
is less as well. That looks pretty cool. Okay, I might be working that into my rotation at some point. Right, I think what we're going to do is, because the, the, the whole of the next episode is going to be based on this area, so I'm going to see if I can make my way back. Let's just see if I can find my way back to the med bay. I don't want the episode to be too long, really, so... Yeah, okay, good. I thought, <laughs> I thought we were lost then. Okay, yeah, so uh, I'm going to wrap it up here, guys. Thank you very much for joining me. I really appreciate your time. If you would like to uh, like, comment, or subscribe, I'd love you to do so. It really help me out for a very small channel at the moment. Um, and yeah, thanks for joining me. I'll see you again for the next episode. Take care now. Cheers. Bye-bye.